This is part four. How to make your own sheet metal RC car. The last video I made the frame. So I extended it with these plates. Each one has two screws and it's already been gooped underneath. It's all glued. Got the bottom in it. I put the screws through it that hold on these pieces right here that let the uh, rear axle pivot. If you break one of these, you're going to really wish you had these screws here so you can still change it out instead of covering it up with the plate. Plus it makes it stronger. Got a little bit of a hole here. I'll fill that in later. But it's all there. The first video was how to make your own side panels. That's if you can call that the hard part, it's pretty easy to do. This video will be making the the body into a body. Basically, it'll have the roof and trunk, and it's going to be basically what she's going to look like. The last video I showed you these clamps. These will also come in handy again this time. This time, you're going to be clamping them to an already dried part, such as the body. Basically, you're using them as a stand. Basically, all you got to do is figure out the width of your car body in this step. You want to give yourself a little bit of room, and I'll show you here by tipping it in. You want to give a little room to the front and a little room to the back so when the body's done nothing's rubbing everything's good once you basically have the width this is gonna be a pretty wide car as we can see already you're sure nothing's going to rub even when you're steering you don't want that to happen at the last resort if it rubs you can flare the fenders out by pulling out on the middle and just bulging it out I had to do that in a couple places on the general like the rear fenders I actually got this roll from uh, the builder that built the house I lived in last year he brought me this roll of metal. It used to be a lot bigger because I've been using it. I don't know where he got this, but it's pretty cool. It's almost like a big spring. But what I do is I'll take it. You can just cut out pieces of sheet metal or actually get you some strap steel, which would probably be the best thing to use, but the Roscoe car is not, not supposed to be durable. It needs to bend around. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a front piece for the car and I'm going to make also a back piece for the car. Once you have a piece like this, just a flat piece of pretty stiff metal, what you're going to want to do is you're going to need your sharpie again. Hold it up to the body and mark where you're going to want your bend to be. Basically, I have to bend it there and there. Make sure you straighten up your lines. Right there. This car's already going to be really wide. Then you're going to want it. Flat ended pliers, if you don't have them, I suggest getting them because they really come in handy. I went ahead and I bought two brand new tubes of goop last night from Walmart. This one, this is the plumbing goop, but they're all the same. They have automotive, lawn and garden, marine, it's all the same stuff but in a different tube. 
It's all the same stuff. Amazing Goop. You can get it at Walmart, Home Depot, Ace Hardware, Lowe's, Hobby Lobby. They all have it. Now, you don't want to be too stingy with the Goop, but you don't want to waste too much of it either. You just want to put a nice speed on there. It's going to squirt out everywhere. So be prepared for that when you apply it. Okay. Helps to like smear it around with a wet finger so it doesn't stick to your finger. You want to put it in. I had to run and grab more clamps. It helps to get these too with the big open center for when you have to go around these bins. Alright, that's the first step to putting your car body together. Now you have a front end. Once you have your other piece made up, I think I'm going to attach this one behind the bumper mounts. Pretty much you just make it up as you go along. And now for a closer view, right now, we have the rear of the car. I made sure that the walls of the tires fit real close in the back because I got wide tires in the back. Moving up, we got the front piece. So, we're getting there. Alright, I gave the glue a chance to set up. As you can see, I've added cross pieces. Let you get a closer look. Just put a piece of metal across like this. It'll keep your body from shifting. I just decided to do that. Seeing how the next step involves like skinning. So, I wanted to get that done before that step. Alright, usually with a roof you'll need a chunk of sheet metal like this. I went ahead and just took one of these and hammered the crease out of it as best as I could. You can barely see where it used to be. But, I'll actually put it this way on the roof. So, you take it and you can just clamp it into place as you go just so you can you just use it as a guide and that's a roof you would glue that down well interesting enough I don't have a piece of sheet metal wide enough to make a trunk so yeah Gonna have to make it out of several pieces of metal. Okay, what I did was I made two pieces like this and just rounded them. I already stuck one on the car because I don't have a piece of sheet metal big enough to make a trunk. I'm gonna do it out of three. I'm gonna have both sides in the middle. It will just be right there. Okay. Now.
Well, now it's got a roof and a trunk. All it needs is a hood. Then you take your piece of sheet metal and you crease it down the middle to make your hood. And you cut out all your detail up front or whatever you want to put. Just like this one. I've drawn out where the hood lines are supposed to go. Just like right here and here. Now to make your hood lines, you'll scoot the project back. This is how I do it. Three-sided ruler. Eight degrees. Grease it good now. Grease it real good. Put it down like that. And fold it. There you go. Okay. After all of that, you have a hood. I have not fastened this down yet. Got a magnet there, really strong one. I'm thinking I'll have the hood still hinged so it'll like flop and stuff when it's chasing it generally. Maybe if it gets dented or something, it'll fall off. It's got the hood, it's all together in the back. I don't really like how the trunk came out, but since I didn't have a large enough piece of sheet metal, I did what I could. And I have to put the big square bumper on it, build the grill, put the windows in it, paint it, make the body mounts. I'm going to try to use these old body mounts. <laughs> As you can see, they're in, uh, they're in rough shape, so I'll take them apart, hammer them out. These came off the wreck of the Cheviac. There's not much left. Few scorch marks here and there. That car is ashes. I drove that thing until it just didn't exist anymore. But basically, your body mounts you'll have an L bracket coming off of the frame forward and rear, and you'll have the same on the inside of the body, and it'll just sit on the L brackets. But for now, that's it. I have to order. The motor for this, the steering servos, speed controller, etc. And then I'll have the rest of the videos. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the question box below. And stay tuned.